Okay, so we're ready to uh, start sewing this back end up. This is probably going to be in a couple parts here. So what we want to do, well, first of all, let me kind of re-explain something here. When you measure these distances, like this, that 74 and a quarter, okay, a lot of times you might find that your 74 and a quarter, well, I'll just use that as an example, it might come out, you know, maybe another quarter inch past here. So you might be past where all these little pieces here come together, like the keel and the rib and, this, and the top pieces and that come together. So if it does come out here, if that's what you have to do to get those measurements the same on both, both sides, you know, you kind of make that balance between that side and this side, then that is okay. We're going to, we'll take care of that. So don't worry about it. But for the most part, you're going to be pretty close as to where this side and that side comes out. So, but you do want, you just have to, it's a balancing act. Okay. So, uh, I hope that's a little clear. So anyway, I got this kind of spun around here. Hopefully you can see this a little better. So now we want to uh, put some uh, double-sided tape on this cell here on the bottom, bottom edge, as well as on the other cell on the other side. Okay, so cells, uh, let me see. Yeah, one and four get this double-sided tape. Okay, so what this does, this is going to hold this together while we sew it. Or you got the, and it, it doesn't have to be all the way across, but it's helpful if it is as, and then by having that nice straight edge on there, you just kind of lay that down. Okay. And then I'll kind of spin this around here. We'll do the same over here. Got the tape all laid out there. And line things up and stick it down press it down okay so we're not going to put any on these so what we're going to do here we're going to run first of all we're going to run our edge binding I usually start on the bottom first here to here then we're going to run edge binding from here to here then we're going to pull this taut with both of those and then we're going to tack this together here in the center. Okay? And when we do that, we want to make sure when you pull this taut that this side doesn't have any uh, bulges. You want it nice and tight and the same over here. So, uh, a lot of times you got to kind of finesse that to get that to happen. So, okay? And then we come over here and we'll sew, do these. And I usually start sewing from here and working out. So where this binding, edge binding here will come together, you're going to have two layers. You're going to have a top and a bo bottom. I try to get these two to come as close to the center seam as I can. That way... When we put this on, we're going to put that edging on so it overlaps maybe an inch. And then we sew that. And then the same on the other edge. So I'll get this swung around, get up to the sewing machine and get set up. And uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, sewing to kind of show you how that's done. Okay. And 